Today, we're going to prove the alternate interior angles theorem. That is part of the common core objectives. First, what is the theorem? The theorem states if a pair of parallel lines is cut by a transversal, then the alternate interior angles form by, formed are congruent. So, first thing we do in our sketches, we do in all our proofs, is to draw two parallel lines, L and M, cut by a transversal T. Alternate interior angles are angle 1 and angle 2. And so, now, so that's our sketch. What we're given is that there are two parallel lines, a pair of parallel lines, L and M are parallel, and we want to prove that the alternate interior angles, 1 and 2, are congruent. Our statement is, first we put down the given, L and M are parallel, given, and we know that uh, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3 is because they're vertical angles. And remember that vertical angles are congruent. Next, we know that angle 3 and angle 2 are congruent. Angle 2 and angle 3 or angle 3 and angle 2 are congruent because corresponding angles of parallel lines, L and M, are congruent. So now we know that this and these are congruent, that and that is congruent. Therefore, we know that uh, L, excuse me, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 because it's transitive. In other words, if we take out, as you notice up here in step number 2, if we cross out 3, angle 3, then they're going to equal, and that's what the transitive means. So we have now proven that a pair of alternate uh, of parallel lines is cut by a transversal, then the alternate interior angles formed are congruent.